Hi, I'm Pascal Serrarens from Passo VR, and uh, in this video I'm going to show you the new extension method of uh, Instant VR version 3. Uh, I needed to implement a new extension method because the number of uh, controllers supported by Instant VR is growing rapidly. So, instance, for instance, in uh, version 3, I had added support for the Kinect 2 or Xbox One Kinect and uh, Leap Motion. Besides the uh, already existing Hydra, Razer Hydra support, uh, Kinect 1 or a Kinect 360, and the Oculus Rift, of course. And uh, the traditional um, uh, controllers is basically mouse, keyboard, Xbox 360 controller, which is uh, for uh, those who haven't got any VR equi equipment. So how do we, do with, uh, we deal with all those controllers in the new setup? So I go back to the Instant VR framework, as having uh, the uh, traditional for me, uh, make human avatar. Um, and you can see in the script, besides all the, the targets themselves, that uh, I have a number of scripts attached. First one is the body movements, which implements the, uh, the uh, inverse kinematics and all the other things needed to move the actual avatar body. Uh, and the next one is a walking script which implements um, uh, walking around using uh, joysticks or uh, WASD uh, input. So the next three are more interesting because uh, those are actually the scripts implementing the support for the controllers. And in this case you can see I've uh, uh, included support for the Oculus Rift, traditional mouse keyboard Xbox controller and animator. Uh, controller. The animator is a bit special because it's a fallback for uh, the case that no other controller is available and makes animations which move uh, the, the, the avatar around. So when I start this setup you can see I have uh, a, a traditional normal look around with the Oculus Rift and walk with uh, the keyboard inputs uh, in this case. So what do we do when we aren't, uh, want to add, uh, for instance, uh, Razer Hydra uh, support? So I have here the IVR, Instant VR Hydra support script, and I can basically drop this script on my avatar. And then you can see that the Hydra is attached to the, uh, to the avatar scripts. I can also remove it again so, and now I'm back in the old situation. So I'm going to show you a bit more using the Kinect uh, script. When you start it like this, uh, it, it won't work because the Kinect script is actually underneath or below the animator script and uh, the scripts are ordered in for priority. So the script, uh, a script at the, at the top has the highest priority and at the bottom has the lowest priority. I already explained that the animator script is a, a fallback script, so it catches everything which is not catched by the, the scripts uh, above that. So it it will uh, uh, the Kinect script will never be be reached in this case. So we have to move it up upwards above the uh, Kinect script uh, or above the animator script. And, a, and actually, I think. Kinect has a higher priority than traditional input, like mouse keyboard, so I will also move it up uh, above the traditional script. So now I have the highest priority for Rift and uh, Kinect as the second uh, priority. So when we move to the head target, you can see that also there the, the Rift is highest priority, Kinect is second. That means that when somebody has, a player has the Oculus Rift, Oculus Rift is used for head tracking. But when it doesn't, then it falls back to the second one, is using a Kinect tracking. Um, so when we go to the hands, for instance, there you can see there is no Oculus Rift because it doesn't provide any hand tracking. So Kinect is actually the highest prior priority uh, controller. Um, but we can uh, add more. Um, so, uh, in, in the, for instance, we can add uh, Hydra. Oh, I removed it again. Sorry, uh, Hydra, and I will move the Hydra priority above that of Kinect because I'm quite fond of uh, the Hydra. The tracking is quite good, and it's definitely better than the Kinect, and even better than the Kinect 2. Um, 
So this is my favorite setup. So uh, I will use the Rift for head tracking when available, use the Hydra for hand tracking when it's enabled and available, and use Kinect for all the rest. And if everything is good, then this will work. You are, in this video it's hard for you to see how it works, but I can show you uh, when going into a debug mode, you can show, uh, show you exactly how the different controllers work. Because in debug mode, uh, which is enabled by this small drop down menu, you see the set it to debug. And then you see an, an, a number of additional fields, which actually state in this case which controller is currently used for the different targets. So head controller, well, we're not running, and all the other ones. So when we start up the environment, then you can see that at this moment the head is tracked by the rift. I can move it around. And all the others are just animated at this moment. But when I pick up my Hydra and I enable that, then you see immediately that the tracking is switched to Hydra. When I put it back, it's back to the animator hand. So when I move into the side of my Kinect, you will probably see, and there it is, that every uh, target is switched from animation now to Kinect tracking. And now it moves a bit awkward because I sat down again. Uh, but when I pick up, pick up the Hydra again and I ena enable that, and again you can see the right hand target is now switched to Hydra and don't pay too much attention to the guy on the top right because it's uh, tracked by, <laughs> by, uh, by me in a small corner of the camera. But the right hand target is now the Hydra, the left hand is still Kinect. So you can see that it's dynamically changing between the controllers which are, have the highest priority when it's available. So this uh, provides a very flexible way to deal with controllers, it enables me to add more controllers and trust me there will be more for instant VR in the future and uh, yeah, it gives a, 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 a real-time switching between controllers, support those who are uh, which are available by the, by the, by the, the, the player themselves and have a very flexible and powerful way to move all your avatars around in your uh, yeah, fantastic environments you built. So I hope you will uh, enjoy a lot uh, with the new version 3 of uh, Instant VR and if you have any uh, questions, requests or other things don't hesitate to contact me on uh, support for uh, Instant VR. Thank you and see you in the next uh, video.